and I can just say, you have not received movement therapy, full stop. But uh, it takes a little while for a, a therapist to sort of understand how to do that and how to progress the patient um, through an eight week course or a six week course or, you know, because that's what it is. It's about a progression. It's progression. And often you need to, you often need to regress the patient right back to the fundamentals um, before you can then start to progress them. Okay. There's a saying regress, regress to progress. And, and patients go, what, what am I doing? What, what's this broomstick that you're putting behind my back? Why, why are you giving me a broomstick? Um, uh, can I ask you when you guys deliver physiatry and you're in the studio, do you, do you hand the broomstick to your patients? Negative. Negative. You need to, does your CrossFit box have broomsticks? Oh yeah. We have PVCs, PVC. PVCs. The PVC should be in every physical therapist studio who looks after back pain. I every agree single that. studio. Okay. And, um, you, did you say you do that? No, no. Well, we do that in the gym. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But the way that our practice system is set up, no. You need to. You need to have a stack of PVC pipes in your studio so that you can teach someone how to hip hinge. It's the most powerful thing. Um, uh, and, and that's one of the, you know, it's one of the questions I ask a patient when they've had 100 sessions of, of uh, physical therapy. How many times did you put a broomstick up against your back? They go, they look at me like, what are you talking about? And I can just say, you have not received movement therapy, full stop. Right. You need to do movement therapy. If you have not had a PVC pipe up against your back and done a hip hinge, which is the same movement as a deadlift, and you're going to do that a thousand times a day, but you're just going to do it poorly, you have not received movement therapy. And that is why your movement dysfunction is still active. And that is why you still have chronic pain.